Hi there! In the next few minutes, we are going to discuss international instruments. When I first heard this term, I thought, what is so international about instruments? Usually, when I was thinking of instruments, my first thought was that they were something a medical doctor uses or a mechanic uses to fix a car, right? But in the international legal arena, there are also instruments that are used to fix situations for the benefit of humankind and the environment. These instruments are usually in the form of agreements between countries or international organizations with the intent to create rights and obligations between the parties. These rights and obligations are governed by international law. Examples of such instruments are treaties, conventions, protocols, covenants, memoranda of understanding, and so on and so forth. Such instruments must be registered at the United Nations and they are numbered in order of registration in volumes of the UN Treaty Series, which are available on their website. Thinking of our bibliographic file cabinet, entries for international instruments have their own drawer. They need to be filed in alphabetical order according to the title of the agreement. Because of the wide variety of such instruments, there isn't a fixed pattern in which the source type can be cited. Mainly the title of the agreement, the registration number or document number, if available, and the dates are required in the reference entry. For well-known international law instruments, the citation style of the South African Journal on Human Rights is used. That can be found on their website. Let us look at this agreement between the Federal Republic of Germany and the Republic of Mauritius. The title of the agreement is Air Transport Agreement between the Federal Republic of Germany and the Republic of Mauritius. The title should be typed in italics. The registration number of this agreement in the UN Treaty Series is 56014. Although the date when this agreement was signed by the two parties was on the 14th of August 2017, the year when this agreement was registered, that is 2019, should be noted in the bibliographic entry. Place the date in brackets. The format of references in the footnotes of international instruments looks the same as the entry in the reference list. Just remember the full stop at the end of a footnote. Here are a few more examples of international instruments. Now, how about an agreement between you and me? You can always watch my fabulous videos and your part of the agreement will be to cite your sources perfectly every time.